Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Goal. I'm really sorry about my unexplained absence last week. I had planned on making a video on Monday, as I always do, um, but sometimes, you know, life just gets in the way of even the best made plans. I finally got the air set up in my fish room. I bought some PVC, I got the air pump in place, we built a little shelf for it, I plugged it in, it's super quiet. So we're still working away on the fish room, but progress is slow at times. We'll get there though, we will get there. Hopefully the next project will be building the shelves that the tanks are gonna sit on, and I think I'm gonna have some time this weekend to work on that, so super excited. Anyways, without further ado, I'm just gonna take you guys down to the fish room and show you the progress. I was able to finish setting up the, the central air pump that's going to feed air to all of the tanks and tubs in here. You can see this piece of PVC over here. That's the start of it. And if you sneak around and peek up there in the corner, there's the air pump. There we go, I went around to the other side of the furnace and you can see it better now. It's up on a shelf and I put it up on a shelf so that it's up high and that's because if the air pump were to ever stop working and stop feeding air to the tubs, it could back siphon and then water would siphon from all the aquariums into the tubing and then eventually into the pump and it would drain all the tanks and flood the floor and ruin the air pump so that would just be a big disaster and one way that you can avoid that is by putting it up high higher than the highest aquarium. Gemco is where I got it from and they supplied that piece of flexible tubing and then the adapter to connect it to the PVC and they even asked me what size PVC that I was planning on using so they could give me the right connector. You can see that flexible piece comes down from the air pump and then it splits off in two directions. The first direction goes that way and it goes around that pillar and it's going to feed air to the brine shrimp hatchery station and possibly a 40 gallon tank that's going to be under it. And then the other one goes this way and it goes up high and then it goes all along this entire length of wall and then there is an elbow there and it goes along this length also and it ends right there. And on the end over here I have a valve with a coiled up piece of airline tubing and this is the bleed off valve since I'm probably not going to be running the air pump at full capacity which is I think a minimum of 15 outlets. It's going to be close with everything set up and running but not quite 15. So I have a bleed off valve just to alleviate some pressure on the air pump. What I did is I coiled up, I attached some airline tubing and coiled it up and I'm told that helps reduce the noise of the whooshing sound of the air coming through the valve. Along the length of the PVC we have those little valves. They're lever adjusted nickel plated valves from Gemco and I have one for each of the 60 gallon tubs it's going to be on this wall and then on the other wall I have one, two, three, four, five. And those are for the three 40 gallon tanks that are going to be on top, on the top shelf, and then the two 127s that are going to be on the floor on the bottom. And there's also another one over here where the brine shrimp hatchery is going to be. Um, I put one here because I was going to just start possibly using it for this 40 gallon tank that's right here. But it doesn't work very well if you only have one outlet plugged into it, it's just too much pressure on the pump, so I'm not using it until I have everything set up and in place. I'm really excited about this setup because I think it's going to be way more energy efficient, plus it's going to be easier instead of messing with all these separate air pumps. I don't know about you guys, but I have a collection of small air pumps that I've collected throughout the years and some of them are really rattly and noisy and others are really weak and don't work very well so when I'm looking for an air pump for a tank that I've set up I have to kind of dig through the pile and try to find the least crappy one so 
I am not going to miss doing that at all. It's going to be really nice having this big one set up and just not having to worry about it. I plugged it in so you can see what it sounds like up close when it's running. You can probably also hear the background noise of the furnace, so try to ignore that, but as you can see, it's virtually silent. And then all these air outlets are making noise right now. You can hear a loud whooshing noise from each one of the lever outlets, and that's because they're all turned on right now, and they're not actually plugged in, so air is just escaping out of those. But once they're plugged into airline tubing and set up in the tanks, you won't hear that whooshing noise anymore. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in this week, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one, and until then, stay golden. No, 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 no.